I downloaded JP Dokkan Battle and started a fresh account to show you guys the best and fastest way to go from a Dokkan noob to someone who can take on some of the hardest events in the game. Today is about setting in, acquiring necessary resources, and getting to a point where we can complete our Dokkan events. Now, for beginners, I want to say the most important part of this whole journey is where and when you start. The best time to start this game if you want to catch up fast is during a major celebration. Right now, aka New Year's, is an amazing time to start because the Step Up Banner is a very solid way to start collecting some good to great cards that will go a long way in your journey. Even if you are unlucky like me, you can still get a very strong start just off this banner. My strategy was just to knock out the Goku tutorial as fast as possible and then pour all the stones from completing that into the banner I mentioned previously. The SSJ3 banner is definitely tempting, but our goal is to invest our stones into something that is at least a guaranteed featured unit. We want to have a strong leader skill to work off of because that widens our team options and allows us to take on Dokkan events sooner. Besides getting a bunch of stones and a decent emergency leader, you also get Kai's. Now, the Kai's are very important. In my run, I got 23rd World Tournament Goku, but not everyone will be as lucky when trying to get their leader, so the smart method would be to farm the SA level with the free to play Goku, like the TUR one from the Saiyan Saga event, because he is the best way to level up any base form Goku super attack level. But we don't have time for all that, and I also want to be fair to the people who couldn't get a card with an easy farmable SA. Basically, I use all the Dozen Kai's to get his super attack level to max, and then get to farming story for stone. We are in our team building arc right now, meaning stones and leveling up for stamina is all we care about. By the way, I also use my Shenron wish for stones. The good thing about playing during a major celebration is A, the fact that we got 4 times XP, and B, the missions are handing out all the orbs we could ever want, and many other freebies like training locations, items, and awakening medals, simply for spending our stamina, training, and finishing stages. Once we have our team's basic necessities complete, and we have built our first ragtag team, we start looking at who is the easiest to awaken, but will also make the biggest jump for us in strength. That way, we can get to a point where we have enough HP that the weak links in our team can take a big hit and still survive. Looking at this team, probably LR Godku or SSJ3 would be decent, but SDR LR Kaioken is super easy and gives us a huge jump in strength because he's a newer card but only needs medals that are fairly easy to obtain. So I went and grabbed those and tried to get him up a few SA levels. After we've got a few units leveled up and awakened, we can head into our first real fight in Dokkan and it's against 23rd World Terminal Goku's Dokkan event and pray that the friend we brought can mostly carry us until we have 77 medals. Depending on what you've pulled, you might be able to skip awakening some of your units because they're already great cards that you are, but unfortunately I didn't have that luxury, so most likely the grinding of my units will be off camera, but I'll be able to finish it all in a day or so. Once my team and its leader are awakened, I'll be just plowing through the story on 4 times XP, which will link level my cards, grant me many stones, and increase my stamina overall because of how many levels I'm gaining. I'm pretty much just going to finish the super type step up banner and then save all my stones for the 9th anniversary from this point on. Realistically though, the best way is to keep updating your team while summoning, but since we are waiting for a banner to drop, we are going to improve the cards we have and stockpile our stones till the 9th anniversary starts and we can go crazy summoning for all the new cards and old cards that will really push our team to the next level. In the meantime, we will stay on top of our daily missions and stages while buying out the Baba's shop daily. Those three things will give us a bunch of free goodies and XP while preparing us for the future pulls and SA farming. Anyways guys, that's about it for part, no, part 1. Part 2 will come out when the 9th anniversary drops and it will be a summoning video where I potentially take on a hard event to check our progress. I hope this was informative as well as entertaining because I'm new to this style of content and I hope you guys will bear with me. You can let me know if I'm doing good by commenting, subscribing and like the, liking the video so I know you guys actually want a part 2. Thank you all for watching.